As the AI bubble rages on, people are talking about AGI, job losses, and all those lofty goals. But in my humble opinion, I think at the end of the day, it is all about business value. One company which is focusing on business value is Google, along with Anthropic and few other Chinese labs. In this video, I am going to share with you. UCP or Universal Commerce Protocol from Google. Not only I will unpack this business value tool in simple words, I will also be showing you a hands-on demo. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe, and consider becoming a member as that keeps the lights on the channel. Because I am not getting anything out of this bubble other than this channel. Also, please follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. So first, let's try to understand what problem this UCP is solving. Look, as consumers embrace conversational AI experiences, in voice or any other modality, they expect seamless transitions from product discovery and research to final purchase within their current conversational context. But the thing is that traditional infrastructure creates an end-to-end -end integration bottleneck. Businesses must build separate bespoke connections for every consumer surface they want to support. This complexity slows down the adoption of agentic commerce experiences. This is where this UCP comes into play. It collapses this complexity into a single integration point that enables businesses to connect once and be accessible across all participating consumer surfaces. And I think that is a real, real good development from Google in terms of extracting business value out of all of this mumbo jumbo which is going at the moment. Now. Before even I show you how to install it and then maybe a quick demo, bear with me and let's try to understand its architecture because unless we do it, there is no point in showing it hands on. So look at this diagram. The architecture of UCP says it all. It consists of several key components. So if you look here, we have something called as capabilities and extension. These are the core commerce building blocks like checkout, product discovery, order management, identity linking that businesses can choose to support. Extensions like discounts, fulfillment, augment these base capabilities with specialized functionality. Then we have discovery mechanism. So businesses publish a JSON manifest at something called as dot well, you know, dot well dash known UCP, as you can see from there. What happens is that it declares their supported services, capabilities, and payment configuration. This allows the agent to dynamically discover what a business offers without hard-coded integrations. And then you can see that it supports a lot of methods like REST API, model context protocol, agent to agent, which gives businesses and agents flexibility in how they communicate. So the flow is very simple. And first comes discovery and agent queries the business endpoint to discover available capabilities. As you can see from there, agent creates a checkout session by sending product detail, buyer information and available payment handler. From there, agent can update the checkout session like, you know, applying the discount codes, modifying quantities. And then for the payment and completion, agent completes the transaction using the selected payment handler. And then comes the post purchase capabilities, which handle order tracking, fulfillment updates and webhooks. So this is the whole flow, which really, really helps in extracting business value and more importantly, making this whole process seamless for the consumer. I think now we have enough talk. Let's get it installed. Thankfully, what Google has done, they have just given us this GitHub repo, which we are going to clone and then run a sample in order to check it out. So I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have uh, one GPU card too, but if you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in videos description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Let me create a virtual environment quickly. 
and then we need to install or run uv i already have the uv install the package manager but if you don't have it just run this command and it will install the uv okay now let's create the demo workspace directory i'm just creating this ucp demo and then let's also create a directory for our sdk which is supplied by this and then we are just going to git clone this and by the way you can use it with other languages too and i think they also have something for node.js if you like and this is model agnostic or any tool agnostic but i'm just showing you the demo here and now we can sync it with uv and now let's clone the sample directory which they have given and sync it that's done and now let's set up the test directory that is done so up till this point we have cloned the directories got the sample and everything now let me first tell you what exactly what uh, we are trying to do here so we will install some dependencies which we already have done and prepared the work workspace then we are creating a sample flower shop with products then we are going to launch the ucp merchant server we will also checking out how agents discover business capabilities and then create a checkout session with product update the session with discount code and then finalize the transaction all in a seamless way so let's now run this uv command to get the database of that flower shop and that is all done and next step is to run the server in the background as i mentioned earlier you can see that the percent sign is just putting it as a daemon in the background and you can see that now the server is running and this is our PID, PID or process ID okay so I, I didn't use a no hub but that is fine I will just keep it running I will just open a new window and then we can carry on there so in this new window if you want to verify just you know access that ucp endpoint there you go so everything is there whatever is being exposed over there which services which functionality is available and now we can show the discovery endpoint in a pretty path you know json there you go so it's all the discovery which you can do you can use these capabilities and all that stuff which i mentioned earlier and everything is so seamless so so uh, easy to maintain and standardized because at one place it is showing all the capabilities the flower shop supports like checkout discount fulfillment and also the available payment handlers like shop pay google pay mock payment or whatever you like okay so now let's create the checkout session so this is a checkout session i have created and it includes a checkout id and also the uh, shows the output um, subtotal which is $35 or you know cents uh, you know 3500 cents as you may and once that's done we can just go and then proceed with the next step which is to apply the discount and again simple API endpoint call where I am sending the checkout ID line item ID this is the currency and how much discount i want it to be applied and the discount has been applied the 10 percent one and now i have replaced the actual checkout id and line item id just to show you the actual value so you can see this is where it has applied that 10 percent there you go so look i think google has done really good here in terms of business value because with UCP, businesses integrate once and reach every AI shopping interface that eliminates weeks of custom development for each platform. And it really transforms that end-to-end -end integration nightmare into a single standardized protocol. If you don't know what end-to-end -end is, it refers to the exponential growth of integrations needed when every platform needs to connect with every business individually. So for example, if there are N businesses like 100 businesses and 100 consumer surface 100 by 100 you can imagine how large it could be that's it let me know what do you think about this please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps thank you for all the support